So in that question number three, we are supposed to have a transition matrix. A transition matrix. Now, transition matrix, it is from, there are three companies there. <clears throat> There is one that is called Jana. There's another one that is called what? Leo. And there is another one that is called. So this is how it's done. Look at that table so that you're able to follow. Look at that table so that you're able to follow what I'm doing. In the first column, in the first column, there is the number of crimes at at which date? First, that first of December 2006. And uh, if you look at Jana, it has how many? 204. And uh, Leo has how many? 416. Uh, Kesho has five, that one. Okay, now add those three and record the total down there on the question paper. Add the three of them and record the total on the question paper. Now, enter to the last column. It is now 2007. Uh, Add the values that you can see there. And then you tell me what you notice. The values are the same, eh? Yeah, because we said eh, that there is no change in the total number of customers. What happens is the shift from one uh, brand to another brand like from Safaricom to Yatel, from Bestie to another school and so on. <coughs> then if you go to the segment that is at the center, you can see where it's written losses too. Are you there? Now you can see from Jana to Jana, there is nothing that has been lost. It's done. And then from Jana to Leo, they have lost how many? 15. 15. And then from uh, Jana to Kesho, they have lost how many? Nine. So this is what you are going to do. They began with the 204. They have lost 15. They have lost nine. So subtract to your beer, they have retained what? 180. 180 or 190? 180. Now that is what they have lost. Uh, so they uh, that is what they have retained. I uh, look at uh, Leo. Leo has lost how many to Jana? Eh? Twelve. Uh, it has not lost anything to itself, and it has lost how many to Kesho? Eh? Seven. So if it began with four sixteen, and it has lost twelve, it has lost seven. It has retained how many? Three ninety seven. Let's do the same thing with the uh, Kesho. Kesho has lost how many to Jana? Hmm? Twenty. Has lost how many to Leo? Five. So arguing the same way, it must have retained how many? Five zero six. Now what we have done there? Sinamia. What we have done there, we have filled the table by using the losses too. You can also fill the table by using the gains from. I don't know whether your question maybe does not have the gains from, but the others you get, they will have given you the two tables, the gains and the losses. 
So the gains would be like this. Eh? Uh, Jana has retained 180. It has gained 12 from Keraleo, and it has gained 20 from Kesho. Actually, you can do it this way. To go a calculator. See, to share about 180. Now, 180 is what we made after we lost this in this. Then, Ogeza, 12, add 12 to 180, and then add 20. The answer you get is it the one with the commission for Jan? Yes. So they lost that, they gained this. So the same thing you can do with Leo. Leo, they retained 397, let's call 397. They gained 15 from Jana, so we get a 15. They gained five. The same thing here. We get a five or six, you add seven, you add nine. Now give me this, the two decimals. One eight out of two or four, two decimals is zero points. <laughs> Eight eight. Uh, give me this one to two decimals. Fifteen out of two or four. Zero point zero seven. Now that other one, you don't need to divide because if you divide and we have rounded here, you are likely to make a nail. And I told you they must always sum to one. So what remains for us to get one? Zero point zero five. Good. So give me this now. Twelve. You divide by four one six. Zero point zero three. Ah, we will begin it. Zero point nine five. So what remains? Zero two. So give me this one. Zero point zero four. Ah, uh, this one to two decimals zero zero one. Eh? Yeah, so that now this one is zero point nine five. That is how you make a transition matrix. Okay, Janet and the same are is zero point nine five. That's all. They are saying no. Okay, so she has corrected. She has even corrected. So copy that.
Okay, then from there, we proceed and say, let long run shares B for J, we have Jana, L, we have Leo, and K, we have Kesho, we can write together, where J plus L plus K is one. And K is equals to one minus uh, J minus L. Uh, then if I have Jana here, I have Reo, and I have Kesho, so Jana is J. Leo is L, K is Kesho. But as you said, you don't bring the three of them because you end up with the equations. If you wish, well and good. But it is easier when you work with one less. So instead of uh, bringing K, we shall bring one minus J minus L. Then bring K minus K will bring one minus J minus what? L. That way. Multiply by the transition matrix. So the transition matrix, here I have Jana, I have Leo, and I have Kesh. I have Jana here, I have Leo, and I have Kesh. So, uh, this one, it is 0 0.88, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.07, 0 0.95, 0 0.01, 0 0.05. 0 0.02, 0 0.95. Now this one should be equal to Jana, Leo, and Kesh, which is J, L, one minus J minus L. Because we said, uh, In the long run, the current state is equal to the future state. The current state is equal to the future state. So we start solving. And on solving, this becomes 0 0.88j plus 0.03l plus 0.04 minus 0.04j minus 0.04l is equal to j. Thank <laughs> you.
is equal to J. So if you seek to put right terms together, we will have 0.88J minus 0.04J minus 1J plus 0.03L minus 0.04L, it is equal to minus 0.04. Well, I could have but here, yeah. 0 0.88 minus 0 0.04 minus 1. Zero points? One, six. Negative. Negative. J. Ile itakuwa minus 0 0.0. One L equals minus zero point zero four, and this is equation number one. Uh, from there, <clears throat> we do we look now for another equation. So we say zero point zero seven J plus 0 0.95L plus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.01J minus 0 0.01L should be equal to L. So putting items together, we'll have 0 0.07J minus 0 0.01J uh -huh. plus 0 0.95L minus 0 0.01L minus 1L is equal to minus 0 0.01. Uh -huh. So this becomes 0 0.06J minus what? Zero point zero six L is equal to minus zero point zero one. There are many methods of solving equations, but I want to confine you to matrices now that we are the matrices. So using matrix algebra, using matrix algebra, I want you to create the matrices. And so give me the answers. We solve those two equations using matrix method.
Okay, so we are through. What are the answers? My friends, you have no answers. You should have said minus 0.16. So you want me to finish, and after I finish, you tell me, yeah, that is what you get. Minus 0 0.06 times J L should be equal to minus 0 0.04. Minus point zero one. Okay. So this then becomes a uh, J here. And L should be equal to minus 0 0.16, 0 0.06, minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.06. You bring this as an inverse, coming in as an inverse, to multiply minus 0 0.04. Minus zero point zero one. So from there, I told you you get the determinant as minus point one six multiplied by minus point zero six. You minus zero point zero six multiplied by minus point zero one. What have you gotten as the determinant? 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Okay, then you create new matrix. New matrix is created as the minus 0 0.06, minus 0 0.16 when you change positions. Then you change sides, this becomes positive. I mean negative, and this becomes positive. That's the new matrix. So proceeding J, L, you are going to have uh, one out of 0 0.0102. You multiply by minus 0 0.06. Minus 0 0.06, 0 0.01, minus 0 0.16. Come and multiply minus 0 0.04, minus 0 0.01. So 
So this proceeds on to become one out of 0 0.012 uh, minus 0 0.06 multiplied by minus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.01 multiplied by minus 0 0.01. Of minus 0 0.06 multiplied by minus 0 0.04 plus minus 0.16 times minus 0 0.01. Nasonga, we have 0 0.012. Mm -hmm. Give me this 0 0.225. 0 0.2 so now divide by this. No, it's already divided. Okay, so if it's already divided, uh, that's good. So if it's already divided, uh, then it means that our J is 0 0.225, L is 0 0.392, and K should be one minus 0.225 minus 0.392. You get zero point three eight eight. Any question? Finish up, finish up, okay.
Uh, we should be okay now. Let me see a past paper. Wrong branch, yes. Those are the wrong branch, yes. Yes. Then the STD the STD is still the commission of it. That's the STD. The STD or wrong branch or equilibrium has three modes. Mm -hmm. can, can call it STD, can call it wrong branch, can call it equilibrium. So the equation is in two wrong mass. The first wrong mass. And we are going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do the wrong mass first and try this for the term. Was at that first of December, two zero what? Twenty seventeen. Now we should request Mr. Twenty sixteen. Oh, I think that should be a typo. Just ignore it. It's a type in error. And uh, what then should have been asked? Mr. Twenty two zero six. Now we should be two zero seven. So if they wanted us to get another market share. Maybe equal to 2008 or 2009, but not 2017. There's a time. There. So now that uh, we did not answer that, it's just like what we did with the other one, eh? we just take the transition matrix and multiply by the share in 2007. So I want you to read and solve this one of uh, December 2013. Next, change your statement. Okay, was stating the state of the Yes. So you're Maybe you have not connected where we came from. Where do we get K? K. Hmm? It is a vocation. And what was it for? Look at the American in Yapo Jim. To be some of There's something else I said. Hmm? You're not right today. <laughs> Some sort of to be right. I just wrote market shares. No, no, that's not what I did. Let's program. Yes. We're going to take a key to do a computer. <laughs> I see red, wrong, and market shares B. Apo ni yotu kaanza safari ya kina J, L. So these ones now that we have gotten, these are now the wrong run market share. Ya jana ni hii, ya leo ni hii, na ya kesho ni hii. And I've said wrong run, you can also call them sticky, you can also call them equilibrium. They have three names. Sasa, uh, because I don't want to start another topic, I want to do two things now. 
I want you to do one question on uh, Markov. Here, give me back here for a regression. You don't so much when you are You know, you just cram it. There is it's nothing more I'll say because I can't take you through the application of it. So, as far as I'm concerned, that bit of uh, matrices is done. So, I want you to do one question on your own. Then I have remembered when you are in regression, I did not show you the questions on Spearman. And I told you to remind me immediately we are through with that topic. We did not. Serio? I'm going to how to do the Spearman. It's a very simple thing. So instead of starting the next topic, I want to take the next few minutes remaining to do those two things. Kwanza Mjibu Iswari. December 2003, question uh, 1B. And then after we are through with that, I saw one or two questions as Kiaman. It's on page, you may see page 48 to page 49. And here are pages 48 to 49. Oh, 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 I think some papers, uh, the papers are not having the same pages. Oh, okay. Yeah, by the way, your age should be removed. The queuing, eh? queuing theory should be removed. I think yours should be the latest. Yeah, so I want to read that and so then we have added some value. We are just copying figures.
So there is a ICU here, there is a high dependency, and there is a general ward. Eh? Now, in uh, 2013, start of December, this was 0 0.1, 0 0.25, and 0 0.65 times the transition matrix ICU high dependency and the general ward. This is ICU, high dependency, and the general ward. Uh, we are told 50 of those who are in ICU will remain, and 50 will go to high dependency. So ICU retains 0 0.5, set 0 0.5 to High dependency and no one goes to the general ward. 10% of those in high dependency will go to ICU and uh, 50 will remain, and therefore 40 will go to the general. And then 85 in general will remain, 0.85, and then uh, 10, we go to high dependency, and this is 0 0.05. So now, give me the answer. So 
So what I have done, I have answered one and one in two together. Because this is a transition matrix. Araf Sasai near the end. Or if you want to see it in terms of the formula, you should have said start of December, start of December 2013, multiplied by transition matrix should give you end of uh, December 2013. I have 0 0.21. 0 0.1075. 0 point. No, no, that's 0 point. 0 point. 0 0.1075. 0 0.2475. 0 0.24. 24. 65. 25. 65. 7. 25. And they're adding exactly to 1. Good. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Wrong run. Have you designed the wrong run? Anyone was designed? You have used which initials? You should avoid I because it can easily be confused with which number? One. One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoever you know the report that prepare is not for our own. It's for someone else where you don't need it because you're already in your head. But someone else reading can easily think that where you have written I is one. So we avoid. Even the way I used L, I was fearing L can easily. Someone can easily confuse. So I propose we adopt XYZ. Anyone else have been designed? Okay, so come on, design. Now the see that's about that of December 8, eh? Although it's good. But for the exam, where we could do a half at the same X, E B Y, you can in a study to us yet. But that's about that, where we can do a set, you write one minus X minus. Half of the upper. You do the same thing, you tell us this is X. Uh, this is y, this is 1 minus x minus y. And obviously, here you must have told us in wrong run. What you tell us in the wrong run? That's what we mean. the evil, so all the way you give me the value for x, y, z.
What is the value for X? Zero point one one three. Ah, uh -huh. why? You have different figures. Hey, hey. Let me calculate the question. I need to do one more question. X, you are saying is zero points. Here, watch and we'll get the five minutes. Lakini is good to go and go to the chip. Come on, 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 come and I have to do one question as well. So five more minutes, actually three more minutes. Yeah. 
and give me your figures. X is zero point one one three. One one three. Y two four two. And Z zero point six four five. Six four five. Good. So when I say different, do I to be the some decimal? Same. The other one because I'm multiplying and this is here. First of all, have we agreed on this? Yes, yes. Uh, maybe we give a double on the decimals. Eh? Now from there, uh, on the costs, on the cost, that's what you're asking. Eh? <clears throat> so on the cost, uh, ICU, uh, the total hospital has how many patients? 4,000. 5,000. So that's how 5,000. And I'm multiplying at 0 0.13. Those are the patients in that hospital on that room. Then a cost uh, one patient is costing how much? Is it 400? 400. 400 eh? Yeah. So the same case you do here 0 0.242 multiplied by 200. Eh? And I hit him at 0 0.645. Then you get the total here. I think that you can, you can finish up that. The total number does not change in most cases. It is the, 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 the alignment. That's why even in politics, you hear like, the crowd has shifted. So the voters know one want it. But now, I'm not going to be able to do it. The other day, I'm not going to be able to do it. But they're the same, same fellows. Yeah. Even politicians, we see them. And they were not going to be a really easy, Kesha was a really black, the other day was a really Missouri. So, just that. <coughs> So you're through, eh? Mm -hmm. I go to page 41, eh? page 41 of your past papers. Page 41. There is a question two, Sylvia Makarano. I don't have a two. Uh, it has three items. The first item is for one. Marketer. Eh? So we have marketer. How oh, we give the second one is for one. Okay. Hours what? Both of them are hours what? No. Hours what and earnings. Eh? Okay. So let me put it time worked. 
so that I have the hours, and then I have rank. This one we we'll call it R1. Then we have uh, earnings, which I want to call amount. And then rank. That is L2. Then we have difference in rank squared. That is R1 minus R2. We square this and we get V squared of the difference. Maybe you can put together the door. Uh -huh. How marketers we want what? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We submit the hours for the past 20, 30, 48, 39, 28, 14, 16, 16. No, 16. 16. Yes. 16 is 16. Yes. 16. In 16. Yes. And then 50. in 50. Yes. And then 62. 62. 63. 43. So, what you do, eh? you simply rank in terms of the highest as number one. So, the highest happening. Yes. So, that is number one. And in the first one, up. That's number two, followed by 50. That's number three, followed by that's number four, followed by that's number five, then that's number six, then that's number seven, that's number eight, that's number nine, 14. That is number 10. I am so many amounts. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, is number nine. And this one number ten. Eh? It's a coincidence that banana is all ten. Uh, but you shall start that. Now, what we have done is a case where none of the values were equal. Assume we were here, uh, like now this is 48. Eh? 48, we have given it number four. We are now looking for number five. And then there are some other values in number 45 here, like in a 42 upper, another one that is 45. So from here, number four, we want to give number five. But you see now, these and days they tie. So what you do, you assume they are slightly different. Slightly different. So if they are slightly different, one will be number five, and the other will be number six. So you will say five plus six, you divide by two, and that gives you five point what? Five. When you say five point five, then this one is assigned five point five. This one is assigned 5.5, and this one now becomes number seven because five and six has already been taken. Assume also you are at number 
This was 13.5, which was number two. 13.5, which was number two. Now here, you have 11, you have another 13.5, you have another 13.5 here, and you have another 13.5. So there are three of them. So if there are three of them, come on, they are slightly different, they will now take three, four, and five. And because there are three, we divide those positions. This is seven, seven plus five is 12, 12 plus, and we divide by three is what? So we are the number four, we number four, we number four, and we are the number four. Seven. Seven. Yeah, I was number two. Studio. So the others that died, if they were slightly different, they would have taken three, four, five. Like in one room. Sidio. Oh, sorry, then this one I should have put it. Uh, let me make it that for the same. What about if they are four? If they are four the same time, if they are five the same time. Yeah, that's why I've done here. In yeah, that. Yeah. So in case you find that there are some that are time, that is the way to go. Then from there now you get the difference. Now Hapa, uh, now that Zot is in the banana, Zot is Takuazios, eh? It's Takuazios, but don't claim that is the time Takuazio. It's only a coincidence. So if, for example, this was four and this was nine, then four minus five, uh, nine is five. You square, you get 25. So you sum. Yeah. You have that point.
Now the formula down there RS is given as one minus six sum of d squared you divide by n n squared minus one that's the formula when you are in regression i talked about uh, correlation coefficient and this one is still correlation coefficient but the difference is eh, uh, this one is used to measure qualitative data, data that you may not quantify. While the other one is, is used to measure quantitative. So I was saying the other difference that you notice is that when we are writing the normal R, we just write that. So we on the R without S, we can either to resolve it up the Pearson product from the correlation coefficient. But if we are talking of Spearman, there must be mention of the word rank either in the sentence of the question, or if there is no mention of the word rank, there must be S above. So that's how you differentiate, which is good. This one, this is R. <laughs> I have only come in here. <laughs> that's R. <laughs> okay, so one minus six times, the other mistake, look here. The other mistake I normally find students do is after you have added these squares, you say, for example, we put a three, in a part of two, we the upper and we want to square it again. This sum of this square is the sum of this one. So the total will be the upper. So in this case, it will be zero. So divide by 10 brackets, 10 squared minus one. So this becomes one minus zero, and that is what? One. And that means there is a perfect relationship, perfect direct relationship between hours one and the end. It's like a very simple thing. But, uh, when you have not had or something so on your own you can try this one of may 2016 question uh, 3a that is on pages 40 to 41 you can try that so to mesema we now meet uh on Thursday, two to four. Thursday, two to four. Thank you. That's what you have. Okay, so. So we will discuss linear programming. Uh, so ile ya kawaida utakuwa nayo so it will be a makeup to two to four on task so the number one of eight thirty will not have it yeah. 
I'll be picking my daughter from the school very early in the morning before six. Then I think at around nine, I'll be in uh, one of the TV stations. Thank you for your time.